the army, to me, seemed like a very good way to sort of get the best of both worlds. I wanted to be a soldier, do all the firing, the weapons and such like, but I actually get to treat people, look after people. If you're coming into the army to do healthcare, you've, you've got to want to be in the army. Um, it's not for everybody and it's a completely different way of life, but the qualifications are exactly the same as you get on Stevie Street. Very, very steep learning curve from the day you arrive. If you want healthcare with a twist, then you've got it. An army has to be fit and healthy to be effective. So wherever it's working in the world, army personnel are there to provide high quality medical care for its soldiers and officers. As a soldier in the army medical services, not only will you work at army bases, NHS hospitals, and in a general practice environment, you could also find yourself delivering high standards of care in field hospitals in jungle, desert, or mountain conditions. You can join the Army Medical Service already qualified, or make the most of the first class training and professional development the Army offers. Whatever job you do, the qualifications you'll get will be recognized in civilian medicine. Of course, there are jobs such as combat medical technician that don't have a civilian counterpart, but most do. Many people already in the medical profession choose to join in their spare time, bringing valuable knowledge and experience which they can then share and build upon. The Army is a unique environment for healthcare. Whether you go into nursing or dentistry, veterinary, looking after service horses and dogs, or one of the many other specialist roles, you will have a challenging and rewarding medical career and be able to take advantage of other exciting aspects offered by Army life. An Army healthcare career is definitely not routine. The job brief is broader, the variety greater, the experience unrivaled. One Army, regular or territorial, who do you want to be?